Today I'm in Bushwick in Brooklyn, looking at some old German-built houses. But what is the purpose of this trip? Just recently I filmed a lot of footage in Brooklyn when I noticed these houses. One story that I have upcoming is the story of the former Sheriff of Queens, Paul Steer, a Ridgewood architect whose houses make up a large portion of the Ridgewood skyline. To be honest, I didn't think that Paul Steer's houses extended into Bushwick, based on my knowledge of the local area history. But as I was filming anyway, and I saw these houses, it was a perfect opportunity to capture the footage, knowing that I had a story planned. There's a bit of a problem though. My original instinct was correct. These houses are in fact not steer houses. These houses were built by a different German architect in the same style that Paul Steer built his houses. Now I could probably pass them off as steer houses, and nobody would be any the wiser. But I would know the truth, and I just couldn't tell a story that I knew to be untrue. So it left me with five minutes of footage that I had no idea how I was going to use. You may have noticed during the summer that I haven't filmed much. Instead, I am posting shorts videos to keep the channel ticking over. That was always my plan. I'm not going to go filming in 90 degree weather when I'm lucky if a video of mine gets 100 views in the first week. There are still plenty of stories for me to tell, but I'm going to wait until the weather is at human levels before resuming that journey. If my channel was lucky enough to get thousands of views whenever I released a video, then I would put the extra effort in. But until that happens, I'm going to film at the times where the weather is appropriate and comfortable for me to do so. While I'm dropping free shorts videos a week, I do still have proper stories that I can make with the footage that I have in stock. As I mentioned already, there is a story that I want to tell on Paul Steer, and I have enough combined footage to put that together. It is quite a unique story as it is. A German-born architect who had an area of Ridgewood named Steerville after him, who went on to become the Sheriff of Queens, where he was killed in the line of duty. A man who divorced his wife and married her sister, now that probably made for some interesting Thanksgiving dinners, being that they all lived in Ridgewood. Plus I also have a story planned on the 43 different Boxing World Champions who fought at the Ridgewood Grove Arena. As you can imagine, that story is going to take a lot of work to put together, especially adding 43 different photos to the video. But I've already started the script on that one, I just have this fear that I'm going to snap if someone leaves a comment such as Nice video, big like, knowing full well that they didn't even bother to watch the video. Hang in there though, while the summer may be slow for me with making videos, I will still try and put a new video out every third week, while also spamming your feed with three shorts videos each week. Then come mid-September or October time, I will get back to making weekly videos. Just as an aside, a short video that I made on the NYPD last week got 5,000 views in the first week. In the four years that I've run this YouTube channel, I have never had a video get a push on YouTube. So I was really happy to see that video last week actually get a push. My first one ever on YouTube to actually get a push. Just a pity that the video was only 17 seconds long. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed looking at these German built houses in Bushwick in Brooklyn. Even though the footage was actually meant for something else. If for nothing though, I am creative and I can always make something out of nothing. The first trip that I have planned when I resume filming is a trip to Kew Gardens in Queens, an area that I have yet to film. There are several stories to tell there, 
And Paul Steer also happens to be buried there. So I will definitely pay a visit to his grave to film it. Quite coincidentally, the surgeon who removed the bullet from Abraham Lincoln's skull is buried literally on the other side of the path from Paul Steer. So I should be able to get a couple of quick little stories from that visit. 